In the automotive field, we've got tons of diagnostic tools and equipment at our disposal, but none is more important than the automotive scan tool. This is a tool we use just about every day, especially with modern cars. There's no other way to figure out what's going on if you don't have some way to connect to all the onboard computers in the car. And more specifically, you got to get into the engine control module. This is where all the engine controls reside. Some of the transmission functions run through there. Uh, pretty much everything runs through there. So when we're talking about diagnostic work and check engine lights, the scan tool is what you're going to need for sure in order to do anything. Now, I want to talk specifically in this video about a tool that you can afford. There's lots of scan tools out there, and they come in all ranges of prices from $20 up to $15,000. You can literally go bonkers with these things. You guys don't need anything professional level for basic DIY type stuff or basic home repairs. I have in mind a scenario where you guys have that check engine light on while you're driving. Maybe you're on a road trip to California. You got one of these nice little scan tools in your glove box for just this occasion. And you want to know exactly what's going on because once that light pops on, you don't really know what the problem is. We need to get that trouble code out of there and figure out what system has been affected. This is a great tool right here for under 50 bucks for you to be able to plug right in on the side of the road, figure out what system's having a problem. It may only be a emissions related and nothing serious. It may be something more serious, but at least you have some idea what's going on without having to go to the repair shop. Another example, maybe you're not on the road, you're driving around town and you get back to the house, the check engine light popped on, you go in the garage and you grab yourself their little scan tool there and you plug in and you find out you've got an evaporative emission system code and you say to yourself, well, man, I just got gas. Maybe I'll go check that fuel cap. And you check it, it's loose. You tighten it up. And now you have the ability to diagnose that yourself quickly. It was a silly mistake you made, but no big deal. You don't have to go to the auto shop and have anybody tell you what's wrong with it. You don't need to drive down to AutoZone. Um, you've got this thing in the garage here. You just plugged it in. You made the remedy yourself. You can clear your own check engine light out and be down the road and no worries. 